ever a year, seriously, if there was ever a year to commit to being more mobile, buying a good auger and a few extra batteries, it's this year. It's gonna be mild all winter long, the El Nino, they say. This year above all years, I would suggest be mobile, try new lakes, try new spots, because you could find some gem lakes this year because it is enjoyable to fish outside when it's like 30 to 40 degrees every day. You don't really need to be shacked up by any means. So commit, commit to be more mobile, buy a good auger and plenty of bats and just start freaking Swiss chasing. I don't think anything, I don't know. It's like pretty much almost dark and our streams are lit. There we go, fish on. Kills and drops. This place this looks good. good. All right, here we go. There's a giant craft. Max Melton, did you reach? No. Oh, that's as far as you need to go, brother. See ya. <laughs> Oh, there she is. Brother, look at her. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're, we're pivoting. What did we just see? Like, like a river? Yeah. On Red Lake. We, we came to Red Lake, not for the walleyes. We love crushing walleyes at Red Lake, but oh, yeah. we came to Red Lake to go for the crappies and where we wanted to go there is a an enormous crack that just opened up on the Sunday. people will probably see it i mean yeah uh, we we got a little bit of drone footage even though the drone was drone was screaming at me but there is i mean there's plenty of good fishable ice at a lot of the resorts where you can go pound walleyes but you know where we believe the crappies live right now um it's just it's wide not open. it's wide open yeah. <sighs> that's just part that's part of any ice fishing excursion is pivoting and ice fishing above all other fishing sports i swear half the adventure and the battle is just making it happen and getting to where you want to get especially in a weird year where ice is minimal we've done a lot of walking we've done a lot of exploring already we've had strikeouts we've had hits and we've had major misses and this is this is kind of a major miss not because of us just because of mother nature and um i say we just we return to this another day hopefully after the ice locks up and we can give it the absolute onions you know a lot of people smash crappies out here late ice but we really wanted to get on them early ice because we just we got in our soul we wanted giant slabs and we might go do that later today we might just go hit a random lake probably south of here and just yeah go where the wind blows What is that? Huh? What is that? It's a friggin' peanut butter fudge malt. And it's unbelievable. Oh my. 371 Diners known for their ice cream. That's bossing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll grab some ketchup. Do you have some jelly for the toast? No, I'm good. Thank you so much. Holy cow, dude. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Country fried steak. And what'd you get? Chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich with bacon? Come on. Wow. That's a pile of food. I don't, I don't know if we'll be able to finish this, but we'll at least give her the gas. Try garlic pepper fried, really. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Oh, my. Bound like a kite finale. Finale. Finito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see?
Oh, yeah. Right now we're in 19 feet right here. I'm gonna turn it to the right. You'll see these fish sitting over top of the weeds. Oh, oh, they are just schooled on top of these weeds. Holy smokes, I'm taking this out of the water. We're gonna go get them. We're gonna go get them right now. 30 feet like that way. We got a bunch of holes already drilled there. <laughs> pivot, pivot, pivot. Driving back from Red Lake, Sam and I selected a, a body of water in which we look, think looked good. Drove about 25 minutes down a logging trail. We were in the middle of nowhere. And again, where are we? We're in shallow weeds. Just like the other day. And uh, I found a big school of them just hovering right in 14 to 16. So not quite as shallow as last time, but right at the outside of this, I would assume, weed bay. And just stuck that. It's probably an 11 and a half. We'll probably tuck her back and keep, keep rolling here. But beautiful gold crappie. So gold, dude. There she goes. That's awesome. I was probably 400 yards away. Hayes and I split up because obviously we've never been on this lake before in our entire lives. We're just covering water. I was out by a basin, nothing, nothing, dead water, dead water. Hayes was on the other side of the basin, nothing, nothing, dead water. Kind of moved up in a transition area right before a neck down, um, probably like 18 to 21 feet. We saw a bunch of fish, but they were flighty. We couldn't even get on top of them. I don't know if they're bluegills or crappies. They're pretty close to the bottom. And then Hayes is like, I'm sending it. I'm sending it way back to this north side bay. Um, and then he calls me, he's like, come here. <laughs> I got, got him coming right now. Live, live action. Uh oh. Oh, I got him. I got him. Hold on, I'm rolling on GoPro here. Sam, I got a nice one here, brother. Oh, God. I don't think this is a panfish, brother. Oh my god, it's a it's a largemouth. I got a largey, Sam. <laughs> largey. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, he likes the half ant. Thunk. God, they like that jig, dude. Nope, that, probably a gill. No, it's a speck. It's a crappie. Beautiful. Beautiful, probably 11 incher. They're like gold out here, which is so cool. The water's gin clear, it's not like it's tannicky. But they got a really cool gold color to them. Oh yeah, we got a little tip up business. Oh, I got one, Sam. Ooh. Ooh, that's a Larry, I think. Another Larry. Oh, it's rip and drag, Sam. Are you on the phone with your mom? Levi. <laughs> Levi says hey. Oh. Oh God, what do we got, Sam? Oh, it's big, whatever it is. Oh God, damn, it's owning my ass. <laughs> Catch him. Catch him. Let's see, Levi, what's your guess? Are you? <laughs> Levi's on the phone, largemouth man, and let's see what we got here. He's coming up, let's see. Oh, oh my, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> nice, Larry. Long and lean. A, a, a jigworm eater, as Sam would say. <laughs> You'd probably get that one on a drop shot, huh, buddy? <laughs> See you later, Larry. Nice fish. Nice fish. I don't know what this is. This has got to be a game fish. <laughs> maybe a bass, maybe a pike. He's fighting hard. It's a billy. 
freaking Billy. Larry. Thanks, Larry. I almost think they're still here. They're just sucked down into the weeds now. We can't see them. Yeah, I just got a hard time. Like, there was so many fish here. They just seem like they're here today. You know, I just don't think they would all up and vacate. Like, we, you found where they were, and we saw them right when we caught back. Like, it's not like they just all went, peace. I think they're sucked suck down into the weeds. Over here at 50. Where? Right over here. There we go, another Larry. What's up, Larry? God, we are right on the weed edge. I see you fighting. Incredible fight. There's so many bass out on the weed line. <laughs> we are right on the weed line. What? We are right on the oh weed line. I see the panther. You do? Yeah. They're in there more? Yeah, they're way up there. 70, there's like 50 of them. Really? In there? Yeah. Get them. This is a this is a, a bass farm out here. Is that a better bass? I think it is a better bass. Hey, you know what? We're bending the sticks on the last day of the trip here. I know. It is just good to bend the stick. And it's beautiful out. Oh, Billy. It's been a minute. <laughs> you imagine putting iFish Pros on this weed edge? Black. Oh, yeah. That'd be a good one, fun one. They're all just two pounders. They are. They're like long and lean. Yeah, see how long they all are? Weird. They're long. They are. Thanks, Larry. All right, let's go get those crops. Where they at? Where they at, though? Oh, God. Oh, racing. Dro I dropped down and just instantly marking. Oh. Oh, yeah. On. Ooh. Uh-oh. This one feels right, buddy. Oh, big slab. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Sam, I gotta get the bump for that one. Dude, he's so long. Look at the gorgeous purple. Oh, that's a nice one, dude. It's long. It is long. Look at that, 12 incher. Really? Are you serious? 12 inches right on. Nice. That's a nice crappie, dude. It's a really nice one. We put him back down the mega hole? Yeah. See you later, girl. Nice crappie, dude. That one ate. That's a panther. It's a panther. Gale, for sure. I don't know. Gill again. Gill again. God, they're getting finicky. Just like Hayes said, there's a front coming in. So I don't know if it's got them freaked out or what, but they're just not acting like you'd think they'd act kind of toward sunset. They're just being really, really freaked out. This hole's got him in him now. Oh my gosh. Really? Eat this pinhead. Oh god, another copy. Showed up immediately. Oh god, it's gonna wreck. Oh yeah. Oh, pounded it. Damn. Little crop, little crop, but he's got friends. You came up and just sniped it. And then your bigger friend was wary. Oh, flying up. Thunk. Huge up hit. That was sick. Did that one mark it? Yeah, that one engulfed. Nice crappie. Nice yeah, probably a good cutter. Oh, this one I thought we had completely lost him. Look at that. Absolutely down his throat. Holy smokes. Get back down there, buddy. There we go. They are starting to go. I think, no, I think it's a crop, but I just think he's wrapped up. Nice pie. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice God. pie. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, they're starting to chill out a little bit. That's a nice one. 
We've seen a lot of good consistent average in here, a lot of 10 and a half to 11s. They got the beautiful gold color. Let me get him back, he's gotta have a buddy. Oh, from our holes that we had originally drilled, they almost like slid off to the left. Kinda as you know, it's gotten darker. Slid off closer to shore. They're still kinda in the same depth range. They're just, they just slid over here and I don't really know why. Where did that whole wad go now? There's so many. <laughs> Fifty feet from me right here there is a wad. Yeah. It's a good fish. Oh buddy, nice crappie. <sighs> nice crappie. I'm keeping you on the ice just for a second. Nice. Nice crappie. All right, I'll let him go. God, that was sweet. Came in and just thunk. Yeah, he did. He came in on me like three feet off bottom. Smoked it. You can come share the hole. This one's little. Get down there. <laughs> oh, tag is nice. Oh, get, get hot. Oh, God. Get hot. There's two. Oh, yeah. Today is like a true testament um, and probably some foreshadowing of how a lot of this winter is going to be if you live, especially in the metro. Um, basically this whole trip we pivoted we changed plans that was the, the word of the trip pivot because um we found bad ice here good ice here no luck here change spots here changed total directions on the map lake hopped had some success missed a couple big times drove all the way up to red whole freaking thing is like wide on the north side we said no we'll just keep going next lake next lake next spot next spot and uh, you don't always slam giants but I, I feel like today was a redemption. We caught a bunch of crappies, gills, bonus bass, and it was just, it was a really fun day exploring tiny little lakes off logging roads and, and just enjoying time with Buddy Hayes and setting the hook. So I hope each and every one of you have a Merry Christmas. I don't know when you're seeing this, but um, hope you spend good time with family, friends. And if you could, please go follow my Buddy Hayes on Instagram. He's an awesome pal of mine, amazing guide in Vermilion. And go check out all the links to the products we used on this whole entire trip. It was, it was a phenomenal trip. And we got to be on the ice and got to do a lot of exploring. So thank you so much for watching. I guess there's nothing left to be said. And stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you. Oh, my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Oh, my pretty babe.